Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're doing a review of the most anticipated figure from the Stump Arena characters, Crying Hound. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so this guy is by far the most anticipated figure from the Stump Arena characters. Uh, this guy has a good, nice, hefty size to it. Uh, he isn't too heavy, but... Um, it really really cool figure uh definitely must have in your arsenal if you're collecting the archie comics characters this guy is a definitely a must have this guy and belly bomb are two of the most cool characters in that archie comic stuff but um as far as the stump arena goes this guy is definitely the must have by the way side note uh, if you guys are interested in this arena, I am making them and I am selling them. So if you guys are interested, you guys can hit me up on uh, by Gmail. Uh, you, my Gmail is rickcreating at gmail.com. There'll be I'll be I'll write it in the description down below. You guys could send me a message if you guys are interested in it. Uh, I did make a separate video of it, and if you guys want to watch that, go check it out on my video list, or I'll leave a link either here or down below or at the end of this video i'll leave a link and you guys could go check them out so anyways let's get right into the review shall we all right guys he is finally here uh crying hound one of the best figures from the stump arena characters uh this one was the one i've been really really waiting for uh there's two different versions of him uh, there's this version and then there's another version that he's like a mysterious figure that they have to fight the turtles have to fight at the end of the of the battle and it's him but it's just like he's disguised differently i'm sure neck is going to end up showing it off because if you look at the back of the four pack turtles you could see a little image of a uh, silhouette of a figure and it's this guy but he's just a different he basically looks like this so yeah so it's this guy just different colors or a different version i should say uh but yeah i'm sure neck is gonna show that one off pretty soon uh but yeah man i'm freaking excited he's finally here uh let me show you the box of course the box art at the end at the sides look pretty cool just some glamour shots of the figure itself and then some of the characters that we already got uh, i still need belly bum i still can't figure out like uh, well i can't figure out i can't find him i should say uh, I checked my target. I couldn't find him anywhere, but uh, I might order him online. I don't know. Anyways, back to this guy. Let's open him up and check him out. All right. So this is everything he comes with. He's basically the figure. And then if you look at the back, he comes with these extra hands, which are pretty cool hands. Um, I like the piece giving fingers and the little tubular fingers. Uh, let's open them up all right guys so this guy is finally here in hand he feels pretty hefty not he doesn't weigh too much but he's pretty decent there's a this pretty nice weight to it he's got a good size to him but he still balances pretty well even though he looks top heavy uh he's got some big feet so that helps with the balancing all right so let's jump right into the articulation uh the feet do move back and forth and then you do have a pivot there so that's pretty nice and then they're double jointed at the knee and that's as far back as you could get it which is a really good range and then let's kick forward he kicks forward that much so you can still drop kick a figure if you want him to drop kick somebody what i did notice is that the biceps do not have a joint here usually it's cut off here and it's a joint and you could rotate the joint uh, on the bicep but for these figures you can't for this particular figure you can't for some reason but you still give a good range as far as the arms go you can move them all you can rotate them all the way around if you choose to both the top and the bottom and it is single jointed here at the elbow which is pretty weird as well so you only get a 90 degree angle but is still pretty good i'm thinking if there was a um a double joint to the elbow it wouldn't make much of a difference because the biceps are too big and that will hinder uh the hand from or the forearm from moving even further back because the biceps are too big i have other figures that, I, that i'll do reviews for and i'll show you guys even if it had a second joint there it still wouldn't i think the range of motion will still be the same because of the bicep size but that's pretty cool and then also the hands oh i just pulled that hand out the hands do move forward and back and of course you got the full rotation there 
and that's for all four arms of course rotation and then same thing over here as far as the crunch goes you do get oh you do a really good crunch check that out so it does lean forward pretty well you do have a big gap up there but i really don't care about that stuff for me it's not a big deal and then he does move back that much and then he, you got a really good rotation of the head you can move it sideways that way move it up that much and then move it down that much and i also got like a little pivot there a little swivel i guess you can move, rotate it around like he's got a bad attitude like talk to the hand you know but <laughs> but anyways uh yeah so articulation is pretty well uh you could get some pretty good moves off of this guy uh let me do some comparison so you guys could see the size of this this massive boy so here's the turtle compared to him so as you guys could see it's a pretty good size here's sideways and then let me show you the extra hands so you got quite a few hands here two four six extra hands and of course you got your grippy hands or the hands that you could pick up one of the turtles maybe pick them up from their feet which don't really grab onto the feet but maybe their hands no you still can't it, it hangs in there but it doesn't really grab on there's still a lot of gap between the hand and and the arm get a close-up of that there we go see how you still get a big gap between that so it doesn't really grab onto it securely so i don't know i don't know why they did that i thought it was supposed to hold the turtles but i guess not and it's got this hand right here got a peace sign hand it's got a totally tubular hand it's got two of those and then another gripping hand and then of course the hands that he has on now so that's basically all he comes with. Of course, all the Archie comic figures, the well, the Stump Arena Turtles uh, figures are the ones that uh, are just coming with extra hands. Nothing else but extra hands. Again, it would have been nice if they would have threw a chair in there or a soft drink uh, cup or popcorn or ice cream or something that you could decorate an, uh, like an arena with, you know? So yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up i hope you've enjoyed this little video like i said this guy is a must-have if you're collecting the archie comic figures you must pick this guy up him and belly bomb are the two uh figures that you you have to have in your collection anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace